Hi, I'm Anton O'Callaghan from the CompNow training team. CompNow is a Microsoft Global Training Partner and we run a range of courses in Office 365, including OneDrive, online applications, OneNote, Teams and SharePoint. Our training team is staffed by qualified educators and reflects CompNow's commitment to education. Today I want to talk to you about a new feature in the education version of Microsoft Teams which is called Reading Progress. Reading Progress is a feature in Class Teams that allows educators to assign students a reading task as an assignment and get audio feedback and analytics on the reading progress of their students. Reading Progress is a tool built into Class Teams and is designed to support and track reading fluency as students record their reading on camera and data is collected for insights. Reading Progress brings the ability to listen to the student reading and track their reading progress as they move through assignments. Reading Progress personas include early readers from K-12, to Year 6-8 to eight students with poor fluency that are reluctant to read out loud, English language learners such as EAL, special education students, students with learning disabilities, students studying an additional language in Year 6 to higher ed, and it's also good for fluency checks for Year 9-10 to 10, as well as adult literacy. So I'm now here in Teams, signed in as Sue the teacher, and I'm going to enter into my class. And you'll see here that when I'm in grid view, the class assignments and grades and notebook are separated from the top from the channels. I'm going to select assignments and create a new assignment. I'll enter in the assignment name. Enter any instructions that I have for the students. I can add a rubric. So I can allocate this rubric to the assignment so that the students can see what they're being marked on. I can allocate points. And here with the attach button, I go down to the menu and I now see reading progress. Select reading progress. At the moment, you can only upload a Word or a PDF file or browse a sample library. Both of these will be expanded down the track. I'm going to select upload, select a Word document, open that up and now I'm in the set up the assignment interface. I can see here that with the document that I've imported it's got the title in twice so I'm just going to select edit and I'll just fix that up, apply that change. So I've got my assignment there. I can enter in a uh, reading level. That's totally up to me. Choose a genre, non-fiction. Um, I can assign the student how many attempts that they can have at the reading assignment before they hand it in. And I can turn off require video, in which case I'll just get an audio file. And I'm now going to enter in student view so that you can see what the student experience is. So I've got a student experience. The student needs to allow access to the microphone and the camera. Then it loads up the camera and then I just basically hit start. So this is the student experience. We get a countdown and then the student can start reading. The great Houdini could get police handcuffs off with his wrists merely by tapping. Then the student can scroll through and once they've completed the end, they can go, I'm done. And they can try again if they've got a number of attempts or they can just say, use this recording. Okay, I'm going to exit student view and go back to the assignment, go, yep, I'm happy with that. And then I'll just go next, and then it will be assigned to the student. With the assignment, I've got options like hand in requirements, due dates, and so forth, but we won't go through that today. Once the student has completed the assignment, I can go to the assignments, and then I get a list of the students. So, so far, Elsa has handed this in, so I can check Elsa's work. I have automatic detection I have automatic analytics on what the student has read, so I've got mispronunciations, self-corrections, repetitions, insertions and so forth. This is an auto-detect feature. I can also play... The great Houdini could get police handcuffs off his wrist merely by... And I can also manually add uh, any corrections that I want in the assignment. I can then mark the assignment with the rubrics, go through, Yes, that's great. Yes, that's good. So forth. Enter feedback into the student and then hand the work back in. To summarise, Reading Progress tracks reading fluency for individual students. Using the Insights app in Class Teams, educators can track reading progress for individual students, an entire class and even progress across the entire school. 
This is an addition to the already existing immersive reader which enables students to view text with grammatical insights such as colour coding for nouns, verbs, adjectives and adverbs and breaks the text into easy to read syllables. It also has the ability to read the text out loud in a variety of languages. Immersive Reader is available in Office 365 apps like Word and OneNote, as well as being available in the Microsoft Edge browser. If you would like more information about reading progress, or any of the other courses that CompNow can offer you in your successful implementation of Office 365 and Teams, please email me at training at compnow.com.au. Thank you.